guys, it's Sophie from Games for Brains and welcome to today's video. And this video will be a full day of eating. I'm taking you through my day and show you what I eat on a regular basis. I just really enjoy watching full day of eating, so I decided that it was about time that I made one myself again. It is currently 1 p.m. and I haven't had any food yet. And that is because I fast intermittently. Maybe you know it already or maybe you don't, but intermittent fasting is that you have a specific eating window. In my case, my my eating window is eight hours a day so during those eight hours I'm eating all my daily calories I'm eating everything that I'm planning to eat on a daily basis so every day my eating window starts at one and then for eight hours I'm able to eat everything that I want to eat everything that fits my macros everything that fits into my daily caloric needs and then I stop with eating at 9 p.m. so that is the eight hour eating window and then that repeats the next day intermittent fasting isn't a magic tool to lose weight or to lose fat it is just something that can make being in a caloric deficit which is necessary to lose weight a bit easier so let's continue with making my first meal and my first meal is oats always oats I just love oats I found this one recently in the supermarket and this one has added protein the thing is with products that are high in protein that have added protein that are low in sugar that are low in fat for example they they usually cost a bit more but the difference in nutritional value isn't significant in some cases it is but please make sure to track the nutritional information to see whether there is indeed a significant difference between the amount of protein that is added for example to this box instead of a regular cheaper version of oats I have a regular package of oats here and per 100 grams it contains 14 grams of protein protein. The high in protein version of the oats contains 22 grams of protein per 100 grams. So that is a difference of 8 grams per 100 grams of oats. Now the packages are or the portion sizes are already in separate containers so this one is a bit easier hence also the price difference but I wouldn't say that it is definitely worth the extra money that you have to pay. So make sure that you check the nutritional information and that you decide for yourself whether it is worth the extra money. Since I am on a plant-based diet, I have a bit of an issue with getting enough protein in. It's a bit more difficult for me to get enough protein in and that is why I decided that I wanted to go for this one just because the extra gram of protein really helps me out. If I wasn't on a plant-based diet, then I wouldn't have bought this one and I would have just go for the regular oats because then I don't really struggle with getting my protein in. That was a long intro so let's continue with making the oatmeal because I am really hungry. I like making my oats with both coconut milk slash water and regular water. I use 150 milliliters of coconut water and then the rest, which is approximately 200 milliliters, will be just regular water. I just found that that is the perfect combination of flavor and fluffiness for me. Then I'm giving it a good stir and I'm already going to add some cinnamon just because that adds a lot of flavor. Then I'm going to put it at medium heat and while this is heating up I'm going to cut up a cucumber or half of a cucumber and I'm going to add that to the oats as well. Just because it adds a lot of volume it doesn't really change the taste of the oats. It makes it a bit less flavorful but I really enjoy the added volume so I don't really mind. And I'm going to add peanut butter so that makes everything taste better. I finished with cutting up the cucumber just in tiny pieces. You can make them even smaller if you like, but I don't mind the slight bite or the slight crunch to the oats. My oats are already heated up. They are looking pretty fluffy already. And now I'm going to add the cucumber, give it a good stir, heat it up for I think 30 seconds or so. Then I'm going to add the peanut butter and then I'm ready to eat. 
I know that oats don't really look the best, but it does give me a lot of energy throughout the day. It keeps me full for a very long time. So I absolutely love starting my morning with oats. I put my oats in a bowl and now I'm going to add peanut butter and I am going to add 15 grams. I always use natural peanut butter, so you have to make sure that you give it a good stir before scooping it out because otherwise you only have the natural oils. And so here we have the finished product. This is meal number one, a big bowl of oats and some cucumber and some peanut butter. So I am going to have this and then I will see you with my next meal. This is so good. I am having a rest day from the gym today so I don't have any lifting sessions planned but I do wanted to go to the gym to get a hit session in. I was planning on doing some bike sprints but then I thought maybe it is fun to do an at-home workout, a full body hit routine, because then you are able to do it if you maybe don't have access to the gym, no equipment necessary. So that is what I am about to show you. Just getting my heart rate up, getting a sweat on, and I aim that my hit sessions are usually approximately 10 minutes long, but I first need a coffee. So I am about to make a coffee, I'm going to get changed, and then we are going to do a full body hit session. So if you're interested in joining, then make sure to do so. And it is pretty warm in the apartment, so I'm already sweating, so that is going to be fun. And also I just realized that I never show you what I am actually drinking during the day. So I am going to make a coffee. I drink coffee, usually either black. I'm trying to learn how to drink black coffee just because when I'm out and about, then they usually don't have any vegan or plant-based milk to go with the coffee. So I have to learn how to drink black coffee. But besides that, I drink a lot of water, mainly water, and then I like adding in some lemon. I finished my coffee, let's get changed and let's work out. For the hip workout, I am going to perform five exercises, 40 seconds each. So I'm going to work out for 40 seconds, give it your absolute all during those 40 seconds. And then I'm going to rest for 20 seconds. Then I'm moving on to the next exercise. I'm having five exercises in total. So after the five exercises, I'm going to repeat the circuit so that I am exercising or that my hit routine takes 10 minutes in total. Also, I'm wearing the ombre seamless from Gymshark and I'm wearing the crop top together with the seamless leggings. I love wearing a crop top during hit because then I really get a sweat on and that is my absolute goal. So let's get started. <laughs> I just finished with the HIIT workout and now I am going to get a quick shower and I'm going to make a protein shake. I am going to make a protein shake and for the protein shake you need a blender, obviously. I am using a cup with a reusable straw, some ice, which is already starting to melt. I like having some frozen blueberries with my protein shake, some coconut milk slash coconut water, some chia seeds. I like adding my creatine in my shake as well, just so that I don't forget to take my creatine. I take five grams a day. And then I'm having my women's best vegan protein powder in the flavor chocolate. Oh, and I also add some water until I get the desired consistency.
It is currently almost 3 o'clock and I am about to make my second big meal of the day. And for this meal I'm going to make some quinoa salad pokeball type of thing. I have some quinoa here, or at least I hope that's how you pronounce it. I have some soybeans or edamame. I have some tofu, cucumber and I also have some avocado here. And I think that I'm going to make a dressing out of hummus. Hey guys, I am about to make the final meal for the day, my final large meal. And I am going to make some lettuce wraps with chickpeas and some vegan meat thing, which tastes really nice. And I'm going to season the chickpeas with nutritional yeast. I received some questions about nutritional yeast and I really like adding it to my meals because of the vitamin B12 and also because it has a bit of a cheesy flavor, which can be really nice, especially with something like chickpeas, for example. So it's going to be a super easy meal, very quick to make because I have a lot of work to do still. Um, so I just want something that's very easy to make and easy easy to eat and I'm also already going to prepare my snack. I am really excited about my snack. I'm going to melt some dark chocolate and then I'm going to put it over granola and everything that I can find in my house currently. It's going to be really nice or at least I hope so. I've never made it before but I saw a girl on YouTube. Her name is Sanne Vloot. She is a Dutch girl. She's a model. She's absolutely gorgeous but I saw her making it and then you know that feeling that that when you watch a YouTube video, for example, and that just makes you really, really motivated um, or very inspired. That is what I usually have. So I was watching her video and then I was like, I need to have that snack as well. So that is why I am going to make it right now. And I am so excited because it looked really, really good. I just finished eating the wraps a little while ago and they were really good, just a little bit messy, but who cares? It's all about the taste. I am now having my snack. The chocolate is already starting to melt and that is because my light broke. I wanted to film this shot, but my light, instead of going on, it kept flashing. So I had to switch lights and the chocolate couldn't handle it. I'm so excited for this. I'm going to do a taste test in one second. But first I wanted to thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure to give it a like if you enjoyed watching it. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this video. So you will never miss any of my future videos ever again. And then I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. I'm going to finish this right now. See ya. <laughs>